Hello everybody! Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I uploaded last. Uh, a lot's happened. We were in Sydney for a while and I just didn't have time to vlog anything. So we're back in Melbourne and today is a very, very exciting day. It is Chow Dependence Day. Bowser is getting his doggy door. Very exciting. It's actually been driving us nuts. Uh, he always like knocks or does a little bark like a when he wants to come inside from being outside. But then he just wants to go outside again and then five minutes later he wants to come in again. And I'm pretty sure it's at the point now where he just thinks it's really funny to make us go out to let him in and then he doesn't even come in and it's just like he does it for his own amusement. So it is now time for him to have his independence and the dog dog will be going in today, yay! Uh, right now I'm just uh, exporting some videos, doing lots of pre-recording over there. We found some bonus chocolate, some bonus pan of chocolate, which is very exciting, leftover from Easter. And in terms of the house, tomorrow wardrobes are going to be going in, so that's probably going to be the next vlog. Hello. Hi. James is really busy. Bowsy, are you excited for your doggy door? Are you excited for your chow dependence? Oh, it seems like it's a little bit of a sore spot. He's like, oh, this should have happened years ago. And he's got his harness on because there's a vid visitor coming in. Even though we know he's fine, he is a dog that can scare people. So by the type of dog he is, so we always put him on a lead so people feel more comfortable. Yeah, also big news, Bowser also has a dog bed. He was obsessed with this chair. He would not stop going on the chair. And we're like, this is kind of telling us he needs a spot to sit. Previously, he never used his beds. I don't really know why, um, but he only likes blankets. So we found this great bed that is essentially a fairy blanket with the thickness and technology of being an orthopedic bed. James is unpacking his wardrobe to get ready for the new Our wardrobe. wardrobe. Our wardrobe, sorry, getting ready for the new wardrobes to go in tomorrow. I'm so excited. I feel like a dog door is such a big deal anyway. Like, does it not need a video of its own? Let's come outside. Mm, Bowsy, what are you doing over there? He knows there's a visitor coming. He's just keeping an eye on things. Inside shoes to outdoor shoes. Whoa, why did this zoom in so much? Now, I know some of you were wanting a garden update. It has been thriving, although I did just harvest a lot. You like your outdoor bed and you like your indoor bed and you like the couch too. Soon you will have your independence. Justice will be served. This is um, my second attempt at mini cauliflower. And I did put this little net over it, but it looks like the bugs obviously could land on the net and chew through it because this grew so much while we we're in Sydney. Before we left, it wasn't even close to reaching the net. So I was quite surprised by that, but I'm hoping it's not the end of the world. Um, oregano is doing really well. Salvia, completely salvaged. This oregano looking very sad. Uh, the olive tree is really thriving. Um, this raspberry, I'm not sure if it's a deciduous tree because all the leaves just kind of came off. So I don't know if this is like a, a bad thing, but that's a thornless raspberry. Oh no, that's a heritage raspberry. What do you think, Bowsy? Do you think it's meant to be like that? Hmms. Hello. Bop. Not really sure what's happening with this lemon tree either. Now this is where the party was happening. It doesn't look that great now, but when we came home, there was so much lettuce. It was wild. So I picked it all and now it's looking very clean. We also had a couple in the corner that had started bolting. So bolting is where I think if the plant gets stressed from not enough water or too much water, it'll kind of just do like this crazy growth spurt. And it just means that my understanding that it's on the way out if you try and trim it and it grows back, it'll taste more bitter. So sometimes it's better to just fully remove it. You know, he's got this beautiful green lawn, yet he chooses to sit on the only dirt patch and therefore makes the dirt patch expand every time he sits on it. That is ultimate sass. And then we also have carrots who knows how these are going to turn out i've heard carrots are really hard to grow i think these might have been chives or spring onion uh, then i put in some garlic here those look like they're going well and this is silver beet 
I'm eating silver beet rainbow chard uh, every morning for breakfast. I love it. I love chopping up the stems like celery to put in salads for crunch. It's really yummy. And these are broad beans that look like they're doing really well too, but because they're climbers, I don't know what I'm going to do to deal with them. I, I bought these like trellises, but I've been told they don't like being moved. So might have got myself into a little bit of a problem over there. Definitely, if you have any insight, please let me know for any gardening stuff. I am still a novice, a beginner. Uh, and then we have the giant rhubarb, which was huge when we got back. Like, look how meaty that is. I harvested a bit of rhubarb. Rhubarb's the best, but the leaves are so big. You guys warned me that the leaves will create shadow on the other plants and they won't be able to grow. Check it out. There's nothing growing there because there was a big leaf right there. So again, I'm, I should have listened to you guys. Last of all, I did just dig a really dodgy patch at the back of the garden, kind of in a rush. I ran out of room. I had carrot seeds or seedlings and garlic, and I was like, heck, I'm just gonna put them in the ground over here, and if they grow, they grow. This is my very sad patch, which surprisingly isn't that sad. These are garlic. They look pretty healthy. And then these are all carrots, which, you know, they don't look half bad. So it might be kind of a miracle. And this uh, stuff you might be able to see. This is actually a seaweed fertilizer. It comes dried and then when moisture is applied, it, it then kind of becomes this jelly type of thing. Um, so that's what's all over there. I've got some liquid seaweed fertilizer too. And this is the fence. Very sophisticated indeed. Are you excited for visitor and dog door? Um, so yeah, that's basically what's happening. We've got another garden box coming. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot to tell you guys. I've been on the biggest composting mission. So I researched compost and how to compost for quite a while because I just was so confused by it. I don't know, I think it's meant to be a simple thing, but for some reason I w my mind was bamboozled by it and how it works. And like, I just didn't fully understand any of the articles by themselves. So I bought magazines. I looked online, did some reading, and I've, I understand it now. So I've got a compost coming that's a tumbler compost, uh, which some of you guys recommended, but then I've also got an in-ground worm farm. It's a small one because I'm, it's so pathetic, but I really don't like worms. <laughs> I don't like them. I'm fine with spiders, but something about worms really gets to me and caterpillars, I don't know. I find it difficult, so I'm starting small. I think I have 200 worms to start with. And also just remember, if you ever get worms to put in compost, remember that you do need to take care of them if it's hot. You know, put ice blocks in, make sure they don't like get overcrowded or anything because they're still like living animals. So I'm, I'm here for the insects, okay? Insects deserve love. Okay, that's the end of my speech. So I've started piling things in random areas. Compost, compost. I had this in the kitchen, but James told me to please remove it and put it outside. He said it was gross. Then we've got potting mix organic compost. My issue with these is there's no like certification that they're organic. Like I'm so confused in Australia. I thought organic gardening was like a massive thing that lots of people wanted to do, including myself, but I can't find clearly organic soil and compost that's certified. Like, does it not exist? I, I don't know. Is it not regulated? I don't know, but this sure ain't fully organic. So I'm not, I'm a bit lost on that. Then we've got these. Eco Amino Grow Powerful Organic Fertilizer, organic with an asterisk, approved for use in organic gardens. I don't know what that means, but it's like a liquid fertilizer. But soon we're gonna make our own people, because you can make your own liquid fertilizer. So in the bathroom, I actually got some hair care stuff recommended to me. This isn't sponsored or gifted, but I'm gonna give it a go. And when I do know if it works or doesn't work, I'll keep you guys updated. But I'm trying this brand, like hair mask and shampoo and conditioner. Just wanna see if it's any good because your girl is trying to have naturally long and healthy hair. Cool, well, I will catch up with you guys very soon. Okay, testing audio, audio. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing here today. I got this for free, it's whitening toothpaste. I'm not so sure about these types of things. You gotta be so careful with the enamel on your teeth because once it's gone, you can't get it back. Oh, hi James. Hi. So I got a top I had my eye on, on sale. 
uh, from a brand that's very expensive called Camilla and Mark here in Australia but they make really lovely quality things. So I saw it on sale and I was like, I'ma grab that. At least 50% off. And it's actually just a stocking top. And I go in size 10. Australian sizing's different to US. Wait, what's a 10 in USA? A six. I guess it's the same as the UK. So I don't know, I just thought this was really kind of cool and the sleeves are like stockings, but for your arms. So I'll try that on, we'll see if it works. Ugh, I really, I don't like, Oh, $15 off. Pet circle. Okay, maybe I do like these. For a friend who's pregnant, um, happy socks. They're like socks for a newborn baby and they just looked really, really, really cute. So we've got, oops, try not ruin the packaging. I think I like the little clouds the best. And no, I'm not having a baby anytime soon. I gotta learn to work on myself before a child, are you kidding me? Okay, and then uh, some sneakers. Also, I'm still not entirely sure about Nike as a brand. I know they've made a lot of changes to improve their ethics, but I gotta say, these are good runners. Not sponsored, not gifted obviously, but these are Nike React Infinity. I think they're also called Flyknit Run, and I don't know, they're really good. They're very like, spongy and yeah i needed to replace sneakers did you know that if you use your sneakers a lot you technically should replace them every six months but you know what money doesn't grow on trees so it's not always a priority or doable to replace sneakers okay as much as i love the idea of this top and i love that it's stocking i just i'm gonna send it back because I, it's just too short i mean if you have the confidence to wear something this short i mean good on you but just not feeling it. Uh, also, I have a bra underneath, but this is also very low cut, which is fine if you like to show cleavage, but I typically don't. I'm like the opposite. Yeah, it's too low cut. So that's okay. It's worth a try. We will just send it back and that's all good. See right here, the glass pane is gone. You can put your hand right through. Wow, and soon there'll be a dog door. Good call. Whoa. I can walk through it. Just have to push it. <laughs> Pretty cool. And try and go through. <laughs> you can do it. So it is kind of late-ish, it's quarter to nine o'clock and I've just been filming, pre-recording because tomorrow I won't be able to film, maybe not the next day and then next week because the floors are being done, I'm trying to get ahead for then as well. So that was why I spent today filming and now we are clearing out the wardrobe because it's going to be redone tomorrow so all the clothes and things need to be taken out so that the wardrobe maker can do their job and not have clothes in the way. <laughs> but I'm also taking this as an opportunity to go through some clothes uh, to pass them on to Goodwill. This is the Goodwill bag. This is what all the clothes that I'm keeping are going in. I've never been good with having limited clothes. I have a shopping problem. I really enjoy shopping for clothes and also recently because I put on a lot of weight and then I lost a lot of weight. I've been clearing out more clothes than ever because you know I had to buy new clothes when I put on weight. I threw out, or I didn't throw out, I passed on the smaller clothes. Now that I've lost a bit of weight, I needed some smaller clothes so the bigger clothes were passed on. Nice. Beep, beep. That thing's come in handy. You wanted to use the other dinky little one. <laughs> I do like this blouse. Oh, it's so dusty in these cupboards. They're from the 70s, you guys. 
70s, baby. There's like 40 years worth of dust in here. But yeah, one day I aspire to have a minimal wardrobe. I keep trying to do it and I just keep failing. <laughs> I just love shopping. But you know, the first step is admitting you have a problem. The second step is trying to change it. So these were some pants I bought, but now they are a little loose, so I don't know if I should keep them. Or is oversized cool? It could be cool. It could be cool? I can get style them, maybe. Don't get rid of them just yet. But no, they're kind of cool. You guys let me know. Should I keep these? Is it like a cool look? But I was going to use the suitcase. Yeah, to put I stuff used, well, in. I had all my stuff in this one and my suitcase. The thing I wanted to get in the other boxes just to put all the MacGuffins in. The what's in? The MacGuffins. What's a MacGuffin? The hangers. I'm so confused. What? You never heard of the, just saying MacGuffin? No. MacGuffins? I'm just. I'm so confused with what that, yeah, what you're I'm even saying. Yeah. Oh, baby, these jeans are so comfy. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. It is early. I haven't got enough sleep because I went to bed too late. Now, for me to feel fresh and energized the next day, I have to do two things. I have to get eight hours sleep and I have to be asleep before 11. Even if I get more than eight hours sleep after 11, I still feel tired. So sleepy today, waiting for James to get coffee. So very happy about that. And today's the big day, the wardrobes are gonna go in. So yeah, we brought everything that was in the wardrobes out into the living area last night. The wardrobe's like 45 years old. So there is that like residual smell in them that's been hard to get rid of and kind of migrates into our clothing fibers. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to it being fully fresh. And then second of all, it'll be more practical to use and easier to use. And third of all, it'll look nicer. But yeah, we've been putting the old trick of bicarb soda and like hanging smelly soaps in there, which actually made it way better smell wise. Uh, Bowsy has been successfully using his doggy door. He just needs a little bit of encouragement and help and he'll you know come through and he's almost got the idea that he can push his head through he's very gentle with things like we had to teach him to step over for instance a laptop charger along the floor or an extension lead he would just like wait and be trapped so we had to teach him that yes it's okay to step over the laptop charger so you can imagine the idea of pushing a door with his head is quite, quite a big deal. I thought I'd show you guys what the wardrobes look like now. First of all, this is the current situation. Lots of stuff. We've got uh, wardrobe stuff over here as well. Let's take a look at the wardrobe situation, shall we? So this is the before of the wardrobes. A little dusty up there. And then the funniest thing is the previous owners down here, they cut around <laughs> some shelves that were actually very easily removable. So they cut around that for the carpet. Actually, in all fairness, the shelves were kind of heavy. But yeah, the doors are about to come off. Bowser's guarding down there. That's the before. Feel free to go wild. <laughs> go nuts now? Yeah, you can go nuts. Is it fun ripping them out or just hard work? I love these doors, no? No. <laughs> then in here, these are the office doors in James's office. And these are particularly interesting. I mean, look at this vintage wallpaper. Little duckies, isn't that cute? And last of all, in the guest bedroom, this is a big walk-in wardrobe that's just naked at the moment. Doesn't have anything in there. So that's a little more straightforward. It's coffee time. Yay! Um, so this is yours. So soon it is. Thank you. This is for Rob. Um, Excellent. Rob's in the bedroom. Here's your order. Oh, thank you. That was quick. You're thank welcome. You very much. Good. How have you been going? Good. There's going to be um, someone else coming yeah. soon. Makes sense. And no sign of doggy bus yet. Yeah, he gave Rob a very warm welcome as always. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm absolutely starving, so let's have some brekkie. 
Oh, sorry, there's a nice sponge in your way. Um, so what I've been having for breakfast generally is I really like leek. Leek makes everything taste good. So I put leek and some freshly picked silver beet or rainbow chard from the garden box into a fry pan, mix it up, and then I have some eggs. Um, so let's get some silver beet. Ah, it's so cold today. Oh, hello, birdie. Ooh, we might have a little bit more lettuce to pick here, which is exciting. But this is the box that really thrives. I grew these from seeds. So I'm really proud. Um, so the way I've been picking them, I take them from the outside and you kind of pull down and outwards. I'm really struggling to film this. There we go. These will be our breakfast today. Bowser needs a little step to get in. So the leaves I'll put in the fry pan, I'll chop them up, but the ends of silver beet and chard, these are really, really nice kind of chops like celery to put in salads. Um, for a bit of crunch. I mean, or you can cook them up, but I just really like saving them for salads. Kind of like a tasty celery. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll start it. There you go. There you go. Yay! Yay! That was awesome. <laughs> He's getting better. Baz is doing like literally a two minute wee outside. He's still going. Do you think it's frozen? Okay, that's kind of wild. Is anything still coming out? All right, is he gonna come through the dog door? He might slow down outside. Yeah. yeah. That was a big wee. <laughs> that was massive. Let me save some for the walk. I know. All right, so let me show you how we cut this. So I kind of roll this up and just chop it like this. I've already chopped the ends off like the celery and then we get the end of the leek. Leek makes everything taste so good. I don't know, add leek and food equals yummy. And then I'm gonna cook it with a little bit of bone broth. I really like this one. This isn't gifted or sponsored, but it was recommended to me. It's really nice. I like the AM cleanse. And then we've got the bagel mingle spices, which was sent to me and is epic. Okay, so this is a bit of ghee. Ghee is kind of like butter, but a different part of the butter. Give that a swirl. That's gonna be our healthy fats because it's really good to have fat, a good fat in your meals. So avocado or like a good quality olive oil, etc. Good quality grass fed butter. It's really good for your brain. Okay, then I'm gonna put all of this in. I'm gonna cook with some of the bone broth. Uh, bone broth is good for gut healing. There it is. Cooking up a storm. Just give it a mix and yeah, let it soften. Actually, I probably should have put the leek in first and then the greens, but it will be fine. Then I'll cook the eggs in the same pan. And there you go. This is a really nice, yummy, nutritious breakfast. Very easy, utilizing stuff from the garden. And I've put a little bit of goat's cheese on top of it. A lot of people don't know, um, but goat's cheese doesn't have any lactose in it. So it's really handy if anyone's lactose free. Um, and then just some pepper on top, yum. And here's all the old cupboard. Isn't that sad, you guys? Say goodbye. Tossed. <laughs> you can keep it if you want. <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna have a go at One Let me get out being a, tr a tree to you. So I hammer it? Yep. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Okay, is yep. that kind of it? Yeah, hit it backwards now, hit it towards the back wall. That's awesome. Now tilt it whichever way you want. Back, forwards, down. I don't need you guys to do this. I'll do it myself. <laughs> that's it. And go the other way now. There you go. And that's how you do it, folks. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> you want to go to the Ta -da! Next one?
Yeah. <laughs> so just hit that one back. Backwards? Yep. She's a pro. You should wear earmuffs. What? You should wear earmuffs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let's just go, mate. We'll go to the cafe or the pub. Yeah. Give it a plan and away we go. It's okay. I got this. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thanks so much for letting me have a go. So this is what it looks like. And you'll see there's quite a bit of void here. So we're going to keep the void. And because otherwise you'd have to like tear this down and then it's like even more work, I guess. So yeah. Oh. Hogwarts fell apart. Thank you. Oh, good. <laughs> Was it there? I don't know. Oh, maybe, yeah. It's okay, James won't get too upset if it falls apart. Because then he gets to rebuild it. What a shame. What a shame. Yeah. Oh, that looks so icky. Not for long, though. That man has got a cashew for you as well, Dobbs. What did I do? I said you got a cashew for him as well. Oh, it's a cashew little job? All right, well, I might leave the vlog right here. In the next one, I'll show you guys the rest of the renovation and what they look like. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Gotcha. And yeah, I'm excited. I'll see you guys soon. Tack, tack.